Today in Caracas, Enrique Capriles, the leader of the Venezuelan opposition, is back on his feet and in the streets with demonstrators after being tear gassed and beaten by soldiers while leading a march on a government office on Monday. The direct attack on Capriles, a governor and former presidential candidate, signals a drastic escalation by Nicolas Maduro's government, which is suppressing resistance with the violent desperation of an embattled regime. Maduro está haciendo todo para que este país llegue a una situación de, de anarquía, de estado fallido, que tenemos que evitar los venezolanos y por eso estamos en las calles. Just hours after the attack, Capriles sat down for an interview with vice co-founder Sarush Alvi, who spent the last few days with the opposition in Caracas. So in Caracas now, they're marching and protesting four out of the seven days of the week. And we're going to march with everyone a couple miles to the highway where everyone's congregating. There are many, many opposition parties, and together they're under one big umbrella. They all come together and they are protesting Maduro's regime. There are marches happening all over the city. Everybody is congregating in one place there. So the tear gas has already started, as you can tell, because everybody's just switched directions and coming back towards us now. We're at the back of the march right now, and I can feel the tear gas already. Let's get our masks on. We're in the thick of it now. These kids are making Molotov cocktails, they're smashing boulders, making smaller rocks to throw. Tear gas everywhere. This is a citizen's revolution. You can feel it on the streets. People aren't afraid, they're ready to fight. Pretty soon, we got word that Enrique Capriles, opposition leader and governor of the second largest state in Venezuela, had been beaten down by the National Guard. We're outside the Justice First Office. Um, the head of the party, Enrique Capriles, uh, just got beat down by the National Guard here, and there's still tear gas and clashing going on. They're about to do a press conference. Gracias. Tengo un cacazo que me dieron en el rostro. We spoke with Miguel Pizarro, a lawmaker and rising star of the opposition. Was today unprecedented? Was a new level. Really? A new level. The video shows Carlos Paparoni, an assembly member, being brutally hosed down by a water cannon during the same protest. This one is a member of the parliament. This guy. That's a member of parliament? Yes, yes. That's a congressman. That's crazy. Then we had a chance to speak with the governor himself. Hello, governor. How are you? Hola. Nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Bien, habla español. No. Ah, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> Imagine a U.S. Marine uh, governor of, uh, yeah. I don't know, of New York. Yeah. You've been out there marching, you know, almost every day for every the day. last two months. Why did things get worse today? Why did they get more aggressive today? This is an incredible country, Venezuela. Mm -hmm. of the largest oil reserve in the world. Yeah. Huh? Venezuela has everything. There's no, no reason that we don't have food. There's no reason. So, and Maduro does not want elections. He wants, right, he's saying that he's going to change the constitution and he wants to make his constitution. You know how much is the income of a worker here in Venezuela? Less than $40 a month, $30. Can you live with $30? That's impossible. So what we do? We are fighting. 
in the streets, fighting for democracy, fighting for a change.